Okay, we're running a bit over time here, so I'll wrap up fairly rapidly. Um, first of all, I, before I say all the thank yous, um, I'd like to thank Gujan for raising um, some issues this, this afternoon, this morning. Um, lots to discuss, I think, at our board wash-up meeting, um, but also some really good suggestions that have been taken up by some people in the room, which is great. Oh, aren't I close enough? Sorry, I've got such a loud voice. <laughs> um, I think the idea of, of a patient's forum is something we do need to discuss further, and it's great that, Sally, you've, you're supportive of that. So certainly that's something we'll continue to discuss with Sally and host associations. Um, mechanisms for more engagement with members throughout the year, I think that's something that's come through strongly at these meetings, so we, can, we definitely need to look at that and how we can maintain that engagement using the technology that's available to us today. Um, and we also need to ensure some mechanisms for you to provide input to us. Um, input is welcome. We do want to hear what you have to say throughout the year, so please um, feel free to do that, and we'll, we'll certainly look at ways that we can make that more efficient and, and more friendly, I guess. Um, and I think the um, issue around um, this, these meetings are for our members, and our members are mostly um, associations. Uh, I think each year we do encourage our member associations to consider um, bringing or funding um, a person with ALS, MND, or carer to these meetings, and particularly if they're a representative of your board um, or are closely um, involved with your organisation, then that is something to consider. I think. A lot of us do struggle, um, as Sally said, with saying, who, who do you actually choose if they're not actually a board member? Um, and also, for many of us, the distance for people with ALS MND becomes an issue. But it's not insurmountable, and I think it's something we all need to consider as organisations here um, representing our organ organisation. That's, so that's something also for us to continue to discuss throughout the year. Um, so... On to thank yous. Um, first of all, I'd like to once again thank our platinum sponsor, Cytokinetics. Um, it's just been fabulous to have such support this year from, from our platinum sponsor. Also, thank you to our trade display, um, Sanofi, and of course, our host association, the ALS Association. Um, I think we need a round of applause for everything they've done. And, of course, special thanks to the ALS Association volunteers and staff who've, who've helped to make this all run so smoothly. Um, you've been wonderful. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Uh, I'd like to thank all the presenters. Uh, I think it's just been a fabulous program these last two days. Um, we've heard some... You know, we've got so many things that we can all take back to us, our associations, learn from and grow from. And hopefully also out of this will come lots of needs, lots of offers and lots of partnerships. So please keep talking to each other, exchange contact details and keep connected throughout the year. Don't leave it a year to talk to your, the friends that you've made at this, this meeting. Um, and of course, we need to thank our programme committee for creating such a wonderful program. It's been really great. So thank you. And just a little reminder, I did mention, I think, yesterday that the Allied Professionals Forum um, Committee is looking for another person to join that committee. Somebody with a health, allied health background would be great. So if you are interested, please make yourself known to Sarah or Steve up the back there, are the co-chairs of, of the APF. So please just have a little think about that if you're interested. Uh, I'd like to make special thanks to the board for all your work throughout the year and for helping to make this meeting so successful as well. Um, thanks to the AV guys up the back. It's all gone very smoothly. It's been wonderful. <laughs> And, of course, thank you to Rachel. Where are you, Rachel? Where's she gone? Can't see her. She gone out. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, somebody tell her she's been thanked. <laughs> um, it's obviously a lot of work um, putting this all together. 
Um, you know, lots of things. It all seems to run very smoothly, but a, a lot goes on behind the scenes to make sure that it does. Um, so um, we obviously appreciate all the efforts that she's gone in to make this such a successful day. And, of course, thank you to the MND Association um, for enabling these meetings to happen every year. It's just um, wonderful that they continue every year and we continue to have so many people attending and sharing and, and getting together. So thank you, Sally. Thanks. Have I forgotten anything or anybody? No? Okay. <laughs> Probably time now. We need to move pretty quickly to get our... F oh, Evie? Dates for Dublin, I haven't got them off the top of my head. Does anybody? Ashling, do you know when we're coming? So to the 9th of December. We'll, we'll check, we'll double check that and have it on the website, obviously. Yep, so I look forward to seeing you all in Dublin yet next year and thank you, Ashling, for a wonderful presentation. Um, it should be fun.